Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for February. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. It's for Capricorn. What do we got? What do we got for Capricorn? Now, this is probably for right around the middle of February, so it may not resonate right now. Watch it later. It could be at the end of February, too, but I'm, I'm gearing for mid-February. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, awareness. This is the magician manifestation. You guys have manifested something. Heaven on earth. <laughs> so you could be getting some sort of blessing that you have manifested. Interesting. Let me go put it right here. You know, the magician signifies a divine connection as well. So you may be coming into a connection that is divinely guided. You've definitely manifested it, okay? It's like as if by magic, now you're, you're getting your wish, whatever that is. One card for Capricorn. Awakening. Beautiful. I mean, pretty much the same thing. It pretty much is. You know, it's like you guys are great at going through some sort of spiritual awakening and you're manifesting something. Um, this is kind of like a healing as well. And maybe you're just like waking up from some sort of slumber. This is, you know, this card is, to me, I think of the judgment card, to me, because that is an awakening. It's acceptance, it's forgiveness, it's release, it's awareness. You guys are going through some sort of awakening at this point. It's a spiritual awakening. It is, because this is a spiritual awakening as well. So you guys are definitely going through a spiritual awakening. And I think that because you are, you are, whatever you're thinking, you know, because this is your thoughts become things, they're manifesting very quickly. Because that's the vibration that you are on. You're at a very high vibration at this time. What do we got for Capricorn? Not going to take those. What do we have for Capricorn for mid February? What do we got for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Oh, yes. Yes. This is abundance. This is receiving a uh, gift, a blessing. You have endless opportunities here. You're glowing. You are glowing. Okay? I mean, this is the birth of something new. I mean, this is the goddess of love. If you are the female watching this, this is the energy you are putting out. 
because you are at a point where you value yourself, other people are valuing you. If you are the male, this is who you're dealing with. If you are the male watching this, you could be dealing with a woman. It could be a Taurus or a Libra that is very beautiful, kind, nurturing. If you are the woman that is watching this, this is you. And people are, are really seeing your beauty. And I'm not just talking about outside beauty. Whoever this person is, this person has internal and external beauty. This is a beautiful soul. And this beautiful soul is, is going to receive some sort of miracle because she's dealt with some pain. To become the empress, you have to deal with pain. And now she's going to get a reward for the pain that she has endured. So somebody is going to get some sort of reward. Hmm. The chariot reverse. What a contradiction, huh? There's, there's been um, a lack of movement. Somebody hasn't made a move when they should have or they didn't find the discipline or the willpower to replace that fear with faith and I think things have been stuck maybe maybe somebody sees your worth you know and they think they see that your beauty and they're afraid somebody may be afraid or the, this is if you're the male this could be you you may be intimidated by this woman I mean we have a woman here that is intimidating she is intimidating because she's so strong on her own she can handle anything she can her life experience has made her rich. And it's like somebody may not be able to um, master their emotions to confront this person because of her, because of who she is. Because she's such a strong woman, right? She's such a beautiful soul. Justice. Wonderful. Now, this is about making a decision, the choice between two. Interesting. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Somebody's getting something good here. And it's because they stood up for themselves. And they're no longer in denial about who they are. Interesting. No longer blocking. There's been a blockage here. Somebody has been blocked. Or maybe somebody that has been blocked is going to, I don't know, communicate? I don't know. This is seeing things from a new perspective. Now, this... who. Whoever the woman is watching this reading, she's got complete control. And now there's definitely a decision about the future here. Definitely. It's like there's the, that boulder that's been placed in front of you and you can only go left or right. Left leads back to the past and right leads to the future. You gotta make a choice here. What you're gonna do, you, you're at that, you're at that uh, spot in the road. You know, you know, you're at that yield and you can only go, you gotta pick, you gotta pick. So we have somebody here that has to make a choice in, to, in regards to which is the right thing to do. Which one, um, is going to bring me balance. Which one should I invest in? Which one is going to be successful? So we have, a, I think we have a female here that is in complete control as to, you know, which path is going to be the best option for me. And she has a choice between two. If you are the male, you probably have a choice between two women. Definitely. I mean, there's a choice between two here. And there's some opposition that needs to be faced. And there's fear. There is some fear. And this is a test. 
It is a test. You are being tested. You're being tested of your, your integrity is being tested. Or somebody else's integrity is being tested. <sighs> There's a lack of wish fulfillment. It's like somebody has invested time and energy in a situation that may have blocked them from this perfect match, from this woman. I don't know if you are the male watching this. You may have been blocked from this goddess because you invested in a situation that kept you stuck. You invested in something that wasn't going to be successful. Who knows? This is uh, wasted time on something that wasn't meant to be. The star reversed. And now there's an opportunity to do the right thing with that justice card. There is an opportunity to do the right thing, to find wish fulfillment. But you might have to cut somebody out. You're definitely going to have to make a choice in regards to a partnership. Two is a partnership. We got two here. We got two here. And this is a choice. This is a choice. This is a choice. So somebody has to make a decision between two. Which one is going to bring balance? Which one is going to bring me peace and harmony? Which one is going to nurture me? Which one is the honest, truthful path, you know, which is the path that is going to bring me the most success. So I think somebody's in the process of making a practical, responsible decision and their integrity is being tested. Integrity is being tested. Somebody has been staying in a safe spot. It's safe there, but there's no success. It's like there's no growth. And there's an opportunity for growth with someone else. And they know it. They see it. They do see it. And it's like, now it's time to face your fears and come out of hiding. It's time to, you know, make a conscious change. I think there's um, some loneliness here. And somebody is, is feeling alone in the situation that they're in. And they may be planning a way out, thinking of a way out. Because they have this opportunity for a new beginning elsewhere. It's like I know that I have a better opportunity. And in order for me to get it, I got I to gotta take action. And it feels like wherever somebody's at, there's no wish fulfillment. And there's no growth. And there's no victory. And they're going to have to replace their fear with faith. Seriously. There's a lot of indecision here, and a decision needs to be made. And I do feel like you guys are aware. You are aware that it's, that it's time. It's time to do the right thing for you. And I think that you have the power in your hands. And I think that you are absolutely seeing a situation clearly. You are. You could be dealing with a Libra, for sure. You have Aquarius, you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. It's like now, definitely somebody has to make a choice. Definitely, this is a decision and there's indecision as to moving. You know, maybe you have to move. Maybe in order to ha start this new life, to start this new beginning, to get what you deserve, you got to move. And there's fear of moving. Maybe there's fear of instability. Maybe there's fear of financial loss. you got to replace that fear with faith. There's lack of faith. Believe in yourself. This path has opened up for reason. Your integrity is being tested. And you got to let go of those fears of growing old alone. This is all part of the plan. Whatever that means. 
It's all part of the plan. Yes, there's fear. There's fear. There's fear of starting over. And it's like, you've got to replace those fear, that fear with faith. Seriously. Take a risk. Your fear. There's fear of taking a risk. Fear of not finding wish fulfillment if you take that leap. But the beginning card is the Empress. There's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for something really beautiful to begin. The Empress gives birth to a new life. All you have to do is deal with pain first. You have to, I mean, you think about the birth, okay? You gotta go through them contractions to get the freaking miracle. To get the blessing. So, you know, I feel like there's a blessing that is just waiting to be delivered to you. But there's too much indecision as to, do I dare, do I dare, do I dare? This is truth or dare. It is truth or dare. Truth or dare. What's it going to be? Both. I dare you to follow your truth. If you do, you will get a reward. And it's a beautiful one. Right now, somebody's in an uns unsuccessful, unrealistic, dissatisfying, un un unfulfilling situation. Okay? That's what we got here. And now there's an opportunity to... You know, choose to stay there or go down that new path into the unknown. What's it going to be? You got to let go of your fears. And, you, you know, yeah, there may be some sort of midlife crisis situation here. Those situations fall upon you. Because you have to shed the old. You have to release things that don't serve you. They fall upon you to teach you things. To make you find that faith. To make you find your strength. Your mental strength. You know, justice is a card of karma. If you don't follow your truth, you're not going to get any reward. You're not. You got to step out of your comfort zone. You need to stop being trapped. You need to take that blindfold off. <laughs> Somebody is really conflicted about this decision that they have to make. It's like you, you're keeping yourself in some sort of prison. Waiting for somebody to come rescue you. When you have to rescue yourself. You're not really tied there. You're not really stuck there. You can, you can speak up. You can open your mouth. You can get up. You can walk away. You can just come out of the clouds. Come back down to reality. And follow your truth. Somebody is really afraid here. There's a lot of fear. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this also could be you, especially if you are the male. It's time to be practical. It's time to be responsible. It's time to do the wise thing. You are absolutely 100% capable of success in anything you do. You're the boss. If you are the female that is watching this, this may be who's coming into your life. Somebody that can take really, really, really good care of you. Okay? This is, this is a provider.
this person can make anything successful because he's such a hard worker. If you are the male, this is you. I feel as though there's two people that are trying to come together, brought together by the universe, but one of these people is too fearful. Maybe they don't think they, they can provide for this person. Maybe they don't think that they're good enough. I'm telling you, it's a perfect match. You just got to face your fears, face your fears, face your fears. You know, there's fear of what everybody else is going to say. <laughs> Seriously. You got to find that confidence to hold your head up high and face the haters. Follow your truth. Fuck the haters. Don't let the people in your life that don't even support you keep you stuck. This is your life. Your life. I feel as though somebody is on the verge of making a cut. They know that they need to, okay? They do. I think they know that they need to. They've manifested a new beginning, a divine connection. And I think what's happening is, is that you are no longer the same person that you used to be. You have gone through an awakening. You're seeing things more clearly than you ever have before. There's a divine connection. It's like the universe, God, spirits, angels are speaking to you and they're poking you and they're saying, just do it. Be honest. Tell the truth. Not saying that you're not. I'm just telling you what I see. Speak up. Communicate. Do what you want. Bring balance back to your life. Do the right thing for you. Break free. This is break free. Go down that new path. You're not happy where you're at. Somebody's not happy where they're at and there's no success there. And I think there's fear of conflict. You know, you don't want to deal with the conflict. There's difficulty in communication because you may have bitten off more than you can chew. Or you may feel like you've bitten off more than you can chew. Or you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. You may feel like, you know what, there's going to be so much animosity that I don't even want to deal with it. Well, you got to deal with pain to get the reward. Trust me, the very first card to get any reward, any big, big, big reward that's worth saving, that's worth keeping, that's this beautiful, there's going to be some pain involved, okay? And you're going to have to face it. You're going to have to break free and step outside of your prison into the, you know, community. Okay? And it's like you're afraid of what the community is going to say. Fuck the community. Excuse my language. It's about you. People will respect you more for doing the right thing than living a lie. In the long run... I really feel there could be Libra. There's a couple Libras here. I'm not sure. There's Libra is prominent. Maybe you have to do the right thing for another person in your life. To bring balance back to a situation. Maybe you have to choose between a mother and a daughter. Or a wife and a daughter. I don't know where that is coming from. coming from. Anyhow, I feel like there's an opportunity to start over in a new direction if you choose wisely. Choose wisely. You are capable of providing. Don't let fear get in the way. You can do this. You have the skills, you have the knowledge, and you have the help. Somebody's going to help you. This could be your mother. This is a mother. Stop blocking your success. 
I feel like somebody here is definitely going through a midlife crisis and they want to change and they're wide awake. They know exactly what's going on. And I feel like it's, it's time to make your move. Oh, the tower, of course. Of course. Take a look at that shit. Somebody's home life is a fucking mess. I don't know why I'm swearing. I haven't sworn in any of these readings, but here we go. You know, it's like it's a mess. It's like it's been turned upside down. You know, somebody may have uh, committed adultery. I don't know where that's coming from. And now they're being thrown out or they just want to get out. It's like things have fallen apart. It's like fireworks. See the fireworks? You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. It's like it's lit up. It's like the house is lit up. You know? Out of the blue, it's like things are nuts. So I really feel like you are about to deal with some sort of situation that turns your life upside down. Or you may be dealing it right now. Dealing with it right now. And maybe you're getting thrown out or they're getting thrown or somebody's getting thrown out because they didn't act with integrity. They may have given themselves to another person or something like that. I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel it. And now the foundation is no longer stable. It's not. There's no victory and success there. You can't fix it either. It's unfixable at this point. It is unfixable. Now you've got to find your, your willpower and your discipline To face the truth, to accept it. This is facing the truth. Accept the truth. Take the blindfold off to just, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I gotta do the right thing. This the truth is somebody is in an unstable, unfulfilling controlling situation. And it's hurting some other people involved. And, I mean, there could be a child that's hurting, that's causing conflict. I'm not sure. There's, I think there could be some children in them. This is a child. This is the Libra that I was, but I was talking about this one, but Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm not sure. We've got Libra all over in this reading. Somebody has to make a choice between two people. And it's, a, and it's a difficult one. It is a difficult one. But you have to do the right thing. You know, maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe there's fear of court. Maybe there's fear of, you know, losing. Losing in court. You aren't going to lose. You aren't going to lose. Okay, you're not. Justice will be served. Don't let that hinder you. Somebody is in a partnership that is incompatible and they have a better option. I think there's a breakup on the horizon. I'm sorry to say that, Capricorn. I think that you have a better option. I know the last reading was, this is perfect, right? The last, I can't remember exactly what it was because I forget my readings. But somebody has the birth of a new union, okay? A new partnership, a new life, whatever it is, a new life. But it looks like they have to break free from a false union first. You gotta break free totally. Make that choice to cut that person out and have this beautiful new beginning. It's time to finally be happy. Make that final decision. Make that final cut. Final cut. Maybe you have to do it for your children. I don't know. I don't know where children keep coming up. But somebody's in an unstable home situation where there's no compatibility and they have a better option. And that's what I got. And that is what I got. So much conflict and fighting going on at home. It's not okay. It's not okay. So I feel as though we have a partnership that needs to be 
you know, it needs to end, okay? It needs to be, it needs to be dealt with once and for all. This is finality. Somebody needs to face their fears and realize that they have the ability to succeed. So I feel like this is a, a time of making a serious decision to step outside of your comfort zone. Perhaps and let things fall apart. Face your fears. You can't avoid it anyway. It's going to fall apart. All you're doing is biding time. Somebody is biding their time staying in a situation because of fear. And it's hurting everybody involved. Anyway, um, a lot of conflict here. So I feel like you guys have to make the decision in two, between two. You have a better option waiting for you to take it. And I think you know exactly what this is, Capricorn. You do. You have a better option waiting for you. I think it's a Taurus or a Libra. <laughs> That's what I think. It's a Taurus or a Libra. And, um, but you got to break out of that false foundation you're in right now. I mean, you're somebody is in, in some sort of situation that is unreal. It's not fulfilling. It's not happy. It's not compatible. It's, Blocking them from a true blessing. Anyway, that's what I got. Sorry. This is not what you wanted to hear. Good luck.